The Wallachian Yika Center for Investigative Journalism, in collaboration with their partner, Free Press Unlimited, held its annual female reporters' leadership program. The programs aim to equip female reporters with requisite skills they need to take leadership position in the media space. 20 female journalists benefited from the six months training. It's not necessarily about having a woman being a reporter or heading a desk, but having the woman in the long run actually get into the top echelon of that organization. They are being there not just because they are women, but because they're actually making a difference and they have the capacity and capability to actually deliver. So rather than do newsmen, why not just do journalists, why not do reporters, rather than being chairman, why not do chairperson, just to ensure there is a balance in the way we report these issues as they affect women. Women were encouraged on their skills to enable them to take lead positions in the newsroom, to be gender sensitive to produce balance in their reports. I would expect that we, we are not, we are more focused. Um, celebrate your wins today, um, but going forward, look at the bigger picture, ensure that your gender lens is always on. When it looks like it's getting rusty, dust it up, clean it, um, and sharpen yourself over and over again. For years, some of us have agitated for women in leadership, in newsrooms, women taking the lead in the reportage of our communities and societies. Because this is a society, like any other African society, entrenched in patriarchy. The more we are reporters like you, the better it is for us to say no more. This is the Nigeria we want. This is the Nigeria women want. Adeolu Adekola, the senior program officer at Woleshwenika Center for Investigative Journalism, shared the female reporters' leadership program story and the potentials they've seen in the new fellows. Even from the delivery of their stories and leadership projects, we are beginning to see a new dimension of reportage. Um, we are beginning to see a change in the way that they do things. We are beginning to see them being intentional. We are beginning to see them putting on their gender lens. Um, our belief strongly at the Wallace Inca Center is that um, newsrooms can be um, as balanced as it is, as balanced as possible. So it's not a matriarchy movement, so to say. Um, it is not a gender, it's not a women takeover movement. It is for the men to shift a little bit, for the women to also take their place at the table. So the potentials we see are endless, are infinite. So we are trying to say that there is no glass ceiling for the woman. Um, you are able to take um, your position, so far you put in the work, you're diligent, and you are unapologetic for being a woman. Most often than not, the media has been reporting women as victims. So we are beginning to say that, yes, it is important to tell those stories and those issues, but you also have to celebrate the champions that are doing great things. So the focus basically is on women, um, is required because women more or less form half of the population of the entire world and even Nigeria. So I mean, it's nothing to be apologetic about. It's just to say that in as much as there is a lot of conversations going on, women also deserve a place at the table. One of the fellows of this year's 2019 Fellowship Award ceremony with Outstanding Story Project is Plus TV Africa's Amaka Okoye. The overall top three winners also went on with gift and cash prizes. So it's for me a privilege. I have learned so much. I have grown so much. I've become a different, better person and I've become a leader. And I also thank, you know, um, the leadership in Plus TV Africa, especially our boss, our MD, Kaide Akintemi, the management team, all those who supported me through this journey. It's been an absolutely great journey. and. To say it all, I'm a better person and I'm thankful and privileged to be part of change makers, to say that I am a change maker and to be intentional and deliberate in doing that. And, you know, so moving forward, that becomes an identity as a person, as a female journalist, uh, you know, striving harder by the day to become more seasoned and a more grounded broadcast journalist. So thank you. Then Wale Shoinka now showed me the kind of potentials I have buried in me. I can never talk to the camera on a normal day. So they made all these things possible. And they're telling me that don't be apologetic that you're intelligent. Always showcase it to the world and we are proud of you. So being a fellow is actually um, the beginning of bigger pictures. So I, I would say that you should watch out for me in the next few years because I, I know more will definitely come. 
This is just the beginning. The charge for the new fellows is to pay forward all they've learned, keep excellence as their focus, and to be an army of change makers with a mantle to increase the quality and quantum of girl women reportage and issues in the society. Mercy Emmanuel for Plus TV Africa.